Hey, hi, hello everyone, it's Kira and I just had a birthday and decided to splurge with all those Amazon gift cards and get myself some new supplies that I have been obsessing over. I got myself a bucket load of washi tape because I have been out of washi tape for a couple months now and because I just use it like a chaotic person I just bought a bulk pack of random washi tape and I'm really excited because this is something I definitely needed <laughs> And if you've been following my Instagram, you've noticed now that I have been almost working exclusively with Posca pens. And so I had to buy myself, I overdid it a little bit with this one. At first I was just gonna go for some limited colors, but I decided since it was my birthday and this was money for gifts that I wanted, I decided to go nuts with the Posca pens. Um, and here's me realizing that the Posca pen box is like also a display holder. Amazing, the design. And of course I can't put it back together. Oh well. So this is the haul. Um, I got myself some acrylic gouache, which I have wanted for a really long time, loads of Posca pens, and of course the washi tape. So let's get into this video and start by swatching. So as a lot of you already know, Posca pens are acrylic paint markers and you just shake them up, press on their little nib and it dispenses uh, the acrylic paint into the nib and then you can use it like a pen. This set also came with a very impressive gold and silver, um, so I had to show off that here.
watching is finished, love how they look, know what they look like, and now it's time for the ultimate project. I want to compare Posca pens on wood to acrylic gouache on wood. I've never worked with Posca pens on wood and I've never worked with acrylic gouache. So I figured this was the perfect experiment for me to figure out these two mediums in my style on wood. The Posca pens on wood was amazing. It applied very easily, smoothly, dried matte, no smudging, was able to overlap, like everything was great. One thing uh, if you have very grainy wood, I noticed that sometimes the like grain of the wood would catch on the nib and kind of splatter. There is also a little bit of bleeding, but I didn't prep the wood at all. I just went in raw. Um, but I love that you can see the wood pattern underneath it. Um, it was easy for me to see the pencil lines also underneath it for me to outline. So this was a great experiment. I loved it would do it again. Now for the acrylic gouache. So with the acrylic gouache, I didn't swatch all the colors because I mix gouache anyway and I knew I was going to be mixing for this palette in particular, so I just swatched those colors that I needed. The one thing I noticed about the acrylic gouache was the consistency when I mixed it. So if you follow some of my other videos, you know that I work a lot with regular watercolor gouache, and I usually pre-mix all my colors. Um, it gets a nice consistency that's kind of like melted ice cream, and I'm used to that. But when mixing with the acrylic gouache, it felt like when I began to thin it out and look for that consistency, it felt rubbery. It was really weird and I'm assuming that consistency is like the acrylic in the acrylic gouache, if that makes sense. Anyway, just a weird thing that I noticed. The consistency was a little different than with regular gouache, but once I found my groove, I went right into it. Well, the acrylic gouache was perfect. Once I got a hang of how I liked the consistency to be, I went ahead and just slapped everything on their mat. Now, this isn't as opaque as the Posca markers. I wasn't able to see my pencil work underneath, so I had to go back on top and draw everything out for the line work. But you can still see that nice wood grain texture there. And I'll have to say, it applied great smooth to the wood and I think it looks amazing. It may not be perfect, but it was a fun experiment. The two pieces were able to give me the ability to figure out how to use these mediums to the best 
of my style and my ability and it's also pushing me to try new things explore experiment have some fun and this was a lot of fun you can tell that the two pieces were done in two different mediums you can see the difference between those mediums and i love a good duality piece you know i love the they're sisters not twins well thank you for joining me on this fun little journey i hope to see you next time be good and goodbye